Good day, learners! Welcome to our day one. Subtraction of three digit numbers less than 1000 with regrouping in the tens place. Solve in your show me boards. Jose had 432 marbles. He gave 268 marbles to his friends. How many marbles does he have left? What information is given? Answer, had 432 marbles. Gave 268 marbles. What do we need to find? Answer, how many marbles does he have left? What operation will we use? Answer, subtraction. Today, we will learn how to subtract numbers less than 1,000. With regrouping in the tens place. 432 minus 268. 8 minus 2 is cannot be. That's why we need to borrow 1 from 3. 3 will become 2 and 2 will become 12. 8 minus 12 is equals to 4. 6 minus 2 is cannot be. That's why we need to borrow 1 from 4. 4 will become 3 and 2 will become 12. 6 minus 12 is equals to 6. 2 minus 3 is equals to 1. 164 is our difference. Another example. 634 minus 459. 9 minus 4 is cannot be. That's why we need to borrow 1 from 3. 3 will become 2 and 4 will become 14. 9 minus 14 is equals to 5. 5 minus 2 is cannot be. That's why we need borrow 1 from 6. 6 will become 5 and 2 will become 12. 5 minus 12 is equals to 7. 4 minus 5 is equals to 1. 175 is our difference. When do we regroup in subtraction? When subtracting numbers less than 1,000, if the digit in the ones or tens place is smaller than the digit being subtracted, regroup from the next higher place value. This makes subtraction possible. Let's try this. Solve the following subtraction problem with regrouping. Always remember, always start subtracting from the ones place. If the number on top is smaller, regroup from the next place value. Borrow carefully and subtract step by step. Check your answer to be sure it is correct. Welcome to our day two. Subtraction of numbers less than 1,000 with regrouping in the hundreds place. Solve in your show me boards. A farmer harvested 302 bananas. He sold 178 bananas. How many bananas are left? 
what information is given. Harvested 312 bananas. He sold 174 bananas. What do we need to find? How many bananas are left? What operation will we use? Subtraction Today, we will learn how to subtract three-digit numbers with regrouping in the hundreds place. 302 minus 178. 8 minus 2 is cannot be. Barrow 110 from tens column. But there are zero tens. So regroup from hundreds. Barrow 100 from three hundreds. 3 becomes 2. 0 becomes 10. 8 minus 2 is cannot be. Barrow 1 from 10. 10 will become 9 and 2 will become 12. 8 minus 12 is equals to 4. 7 minus 9 is equals to 2. 1 minus 2 is equals to 1. 124 is our difference. Another example. 502 minus 376. 6 minus 2 is cannot be. Barrow 110 from tens column. But there are zero tens. So regroup from hundreds. Barrow 1 from 500. 5 will become 4. And 0 will become 10. 6 minus 2 is cannot be. Barrow 1 from 10. 10 will become 9. And 2 will become 12. 6 minus 12 is equals to 6. 7 minus 9 is equals to 2. And 3 minus 4 is equals to 1. 126 is our difference. What do we do when there are no tens to borrow from? When subtracting numbers less than 1,000 and the ones or tens place cannot subtract, regroup 100 into 10 tens. Then regroup tens into ones if needed. Always subtract from right to left. Let's try this. Solve the following subtraction problem with regrouping. Always remember, always start subtracting from the ones place. If you cannot subtract because there are not enough tens or ones, regroup from the next higher place value. Barrow carefully and subtract step by step. Check your work to be sure your answer makes sense. Welcome to our day three. Subtracting three digit numbers with regrouping in tens and hundreds. A library had 732 books. One day, 458 books were borrowed. How many books were left? What information is given? Answer, library had 732 books. 458 books were borrowed. What do we need to find? Answer, how many books were left? What operation will we use? Answer, subtraction. 
Today, we will learn how to subtract three-digit numbers with regrouping in the tens and hundreds places. 602 minus 478. 8 minus 2 is cannot be. Barrow 110 from tens column, but there are zero tens, so regroup from hundreds. 6 becomes 5 and 0 becomes 10. 8 minus 2 is cannot be. That's why barrel 1 from 10, 10 will be 9 and the 2 will become 12. 8 minus 12 is equals to 4. 7 minus 2 is equals to 2. And 4 minus 5 is equals to 1. 124 is our difference. Let's try this. Solve the following subtraction problem with regrouping. Welcome to our day 4. Subtraction with regrouping with zeros in ones or tens. A bake shop baked 500 cupcakes. At the end of the day, 268 were sold. How many cupcakes were left? What information is given? Answer, baked 500 cupcakes, 268 were sold. What do we need to find? Answer, how many cupcakes were left? What operation will we use? Answer, subtraction. Today, we will learn how to subtract three-digit numbers with regrouping, especially when there is a zero in the ones and tens place. 500 minus 268. 8 minus 0 is cannot be. Borrow 110 from tens column. But there are zero tens. So regroup from hundreds. 5 becomes 4. And 0 becomes 10. 8 minus 0 is cannot be. That's why we will borrow 1 from 10. The 10 will become 9 and 0 will become 10. 8 minus 10 is equals to 2. 6 minus 9 is equals to 3. And 2 minus 4 is equals to 2. 232 is our difference. What do you do if there is a zero in the ones place when subtracting? When subtracting numbers with zeros, regroup from the next higher place value. A hundred can be regrouped into ten tens, and a ten can be regrouped into ten ones. Subtract carefully from right to left. Let's try this. Solve the following subtraction problem with regrouping. Always remember, always start subtracting from the ones place. If there is a zero, Borrow from the next higher place. Regroup carefully and check your work. Thank you for watching. Till our next mathematics lesson. Goodbye.